Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. So in the past video that I just posted about a week ago about my little uh, diet change and how I'm approaching this prep, I wanted to make this video and kind of show you guys, uh, give you guys a little bit of an insight of what kind of a typical grocery hauls look like for me, what foods I've been kind of sticking to, and yeah. So I just got back. Um, first I did like a pull day and then I went and I got all of my groceries for the entire week and so if you're someone like me who really likes to meal prep too this can be super helpful with helping you kind of structure plan your meals too so I'm gonna do a clip here of everything that I got in my grocery haul and then I'm also gonna show you guys kind of how I've been prepping my food and kind of my meals that go along with that too so first things first I don't have a bunch of counter space, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> so, first, I just been sticking to a lot of zucchini lately um, and really just steaming it, spiraling it, putting in salads. It's really good just for volume too, and zucchini is a lower carb vegetable, so it's perfect for prep. So I got three packs of those because I already have some already steamed in my fridge. And then I loaded up and got like five of these just garden salads so it's iceberg tossing carrots and red cabbage and so again you guys this kind of goes back to just having volume and it's gonna uh, the closer the show comes we're gonna have to eventually um either lower carb lower fat but most likely lower carb and so it's gonna be really nice just to get in um more meals that are focused on volume to just to make me feel fuller so I got a whole bunch of those I've been eating about one bag of these a day so that's why I got like five of them and then I also got I've been really liking to stick uh, keep my carbs to potatoes and the reason being is I started off doing rice, but it really just wasn't filling me up that much. Uh, I sometimes, that's something that I would get in a grocery haul too, is rice, but I already have a big bag of it in my cabinet. And so um, I've been sticking to more potatoes just because they make me feel more full. So I've been buying huge bags of potatoes and just prepping, and I'll be showing you guys that, but then just making in the oven or the air fryer too. So got the potatoes. I have a bag of red apples here, which I've been mostly using in my oatmeal in the morning. And then you guys, do you even understand? I got literally like seven packs of tofu. Um, and so this is super, super cheap. I just got it at Walmart and at Walmart it's only like a dollar forty for one of these. And so this is just a really nice, good, again, protein source and then also fat source. And it's super low carb too as well. And so usually I do one pack of these a day too. It's usually in my last meal. Um, and so that's why I got seven of them. <laughs> And then finally, the last thing that I got, I got a whole bunch of canned stuff, and so it was rough because I forgot to bring bags of my own because I went to Aldi's, and, but luckily there was a piece of cardboard there that I could stick all my stuff on. So, for the cans, I have canned tuna here, and this is, again, um... If you're on a budget too, this will really save you money in comparison to having to go buy frozen fish. Um, for one of these containers, there's two servings in there, um, which will come out to roughly, if you eat a whole can, 24 grams of protein, very low fat, and it was only like, I think this was 85 cents a can, so really super cheap. So I got quite a few of those just for easy protein sources. I like to switch up the beans. I've been having one can of beans with my last meal. Um, and so I have been doing black beans, but now I'm gonna stick to garbanzo beans just because I have a little bit more fat in my macros to play with. And so I'm kind of switching it up to garbanzo beans this week. Um, they do have, it's two grams of fat per serving. So about four grams of fat for this entire can. And then, I don't know why, but I freaking love cut green beans in a can. And the macros, I don't know about you guys, but the macros are super good on it. I can eat an entire can and it's only like 8 to 9 carb, I think. And it's super low 
calorie too as well so I'm just kind of getting to the point where I'm like okay if I have an obsession with something and it's gonna fit easily in my macros I'm gonna for sure keep it in as prep goes on so it was the first time that I actually bought the tuna in the can so originally I have been eating um, tilapia or cod and kind of just making it in the oven I had a huge freaking bag you guys that my parents gave me that was just sitting in our uh, freezer but now I realize that it's basically, I only have a little bit left, so I wanted to get the tuna in a can uh, just in case I ran out this week. So I'm going to be prepping the rest of that, prepping the potatoes, probably the zucchini. I really like just to do everything over the weekend because I'm just so busy during the week. Um, I'm just starting double days now. Uh, we're it's Saturday today and so we're exactly 11 weeks out now and I have I'm just the last few weeks I've been adding in cardio now my body's responding super super well I'm hoping to get in some posing practice with my posing coach Kathy Kemper she freaking rocks and so I'll be sure to kind of film you guys kind of a sneak peek of the practice and the routine but yeah, so just starting off double days, um, plus I'm working full time, so it's uh, just getting kind of managing my time as best as I can, and I know it's going to be even crazier once classes start up too as well. So that's my grocery haul, you guys. I also, I should include, I did get some bang energy drinks too because I love them, and that's just real life. Uh, so I got those, and that was basically my haul. Good morning you guys welcome to a full day of eating so I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of everything that I've been eating so far on prep uh, kind of just a breakdown drinks included um, I'm not gonna be including the exact measurements for what I'm eating because I am tracking my macros currently um, since I am on prep um, when I, in my off season I'm a little bit more flexible but um, during prep, I really have to narrow down on macros just because I am prepping to compete in a show. So it is much more strict in terms of diet. And what works for me won't work for you. And I think especially if you're someone who is just looking to live a healthy lifestyle and lose weight, um, you do not have to count macros to see results. I'm a firm believer in that and so I just don't want to give my macros because if you're anyone like me when I was first starting my fitness journey I wanted to know uh, people's macros so that I could try and follow them but we're all so unique to our own bodies and again my height um, being 5'2 and where I'm at with my current weight my macros would be completely different and my body fat per percentage too but overall just gonna be showing you guys a little breakdown so I'm gonna set my camera down here first thing I have every single morning um, I like to fast you guys Sorry, my music's like really loud. <laughs> I was practicing posing. Um, so I like to fast and what that is, intermittent fasting is, especially when I go on prep, when I am in such a deficit for calories, uh, I like to fast so I don't eat anything in the morning. I usually do the traditional 16-8 fast. So for those of you who don't know that, what that means is for 16 hours I'm fasting, so when I'm sleeping and then all the way in, up in the morning until around 11 o'clock or noon, I'm not too strict with it, but I like to wait until 11 or 12 until I eat my full on first meal. And it just, and then I usually eat from like noon to 8 p.m. Those are like my eating windows. And I just like that a lot better because when I'm in prep um, and as calories go down, I'll have less and less to work with. And so if I just keep it to an eight, eight hour eating window, then I find that it almost seems like I'm eating more often. I'm eating more frequently too. I don't know. It just helps me a lot personally when I'm in a deficit. And I'm not that hungry when I wake up in the morning either. So my first like little like... Um, I don't know if I should call it a snack because then technically I'm not fasting, but I always have coffee right away in the morning, especially once classes start up and life gets crazy. I'm going to need the extra boost of caffeine. So I always pour my coffee in. And then what I'm so obsessed with, you guys, is Bobar Nutrition's Protein Line. This is amazing. Highly recommend. I put it in my coffee 
every single morning and I have protein coffee and it tastes freaking amazing. Like I cannot up it. I'm not sponsored by them or, or anything. This is protein frosted cookie. Super, super good. I'm a huge fan of protein pumpkin spice though. I think that one's got to be my number one. Um, but they're all super, super good. They also have like a cinnamon flavored one. So a cinnamon bun. That one's super good in coffee. And so I pour it and then... I do about half a scoop of protein powder and this just really helps get my protein up to you guys rather than just eating fish or chicken or tofu all day. And then they also have a little rapid mixer. You guys, this is so freaking cute. I have to show you guys. Let me turn the camera here. Actually, yeah, I can show you guys like this. So you put the rapid mixer in and now it's going to mix your protein for you. It's like... Oh, yes, I did invest money and buy this. <laughs> and it's literally perfect, you guys. Like, it's legit. And just with how often I use it, too, it's so worth it. The only thing is, if, um, with protein powders, because I've got questions like, hey, why can't I just use the whey protein that I have um, sitting right in my cupboard? And you could, but just make sure that it's a high quality protein because if it's not, um, or even if your coffee's too hot, uh, the protein will denature, meaning, I feel so scientific, meaning when you put it in your hot coffee, um, the temperature, because it's so hot, is going to break down the protein and it's going to get super, super gritty and just gross. It happened to me once with Bomar's protein, but that was because my coffee was too hot and then I had to dump it all away and it was super sad. So if your coffee's super, super hot, I would recommend pouring in like a little dash of milk or almond milk or anything like that or just waiting until it cools down. You can also use iced coffee too, but then if you're getting like a Starbucks drink, have them put in light ice because you'll still have to add in the protein after. But anyway, so first things first, gonna have this protein coffee, even froths at the top you guys, like can we just? <laughs> so I am gonna drink this now. Uh, I have a, It's Sunday today so I like to do a bunch of my meal prepping, I'll show you guys kind of what I'm going to be doing for that and just some busy work along with that before we start up with another busy Monday. Okay, you guys, first thing we're prepping here, I almost forgot to show you guys, are I'm doing my potatoes. So you can put these potatoes actually in the air fryer if you have one, but I'm just doing a bigger batch. So I wanted to put them on a pan. So you just need a cookie tray and then tin foil, spray the bottom with nonstick cooking spray. Put the potatoes on. Um, you can use whatever seasonings you want, but just I kind of use just what I have on hand. So garlic powder, Himalayan pink salt, and then black pepper. So I'm keeping it super, super simple. Put it on the pan, and I'm preheating the oven to 450. Okay, you guys, for the fish, I, how I just said, I have a little bit left in the freezer of cod. Super weird, but I noticed on my air fryer that I have a fish setting, and so I tried this like a week ago where I put tin foil on the bottom of the air fryer, stuck the fish in, and then just stuck it right in the air fryer. And I think I'm actually, I'm actually going to try the fish setting though. Oh, 350. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to bump it up because last time I put it to 400, but it actually worked really, really well and it cooks the fish and it actually makes it nice and crispy. I don't know about you guys, but I really like it like that. So I'll show you guys how it turns out. Alright, you guys, fish is completely done here. It comes out to roughly four and a half ounces or so so I'm gonna just be eating this today for one of my meals so fish done and yesterday I actually did my veggies and I forgot to show you guys so I stuck with the zucchini that I got and I chopped it up and then I just steamed it in uh, over the stove and so super simple so I like to just warm it up and then I usually just sprinkle some pink salt on and it's super good so I have just a huge container here so that's gonna be my veggie along with um, the canned green beans and the salad bags for the last the next few days and then the potatoes are also done and these turned out super good I like to bake them in the oven until they get nice and like crispy and get marks on them and these 
are bomb. They're like crispy on the outside, but then super soft on the inside. So highly recommend, but I'm probably just going to do another pan of these and throw it in the oven. So then I'm all set and ready to go for the week. All right, you guys, it's about noon right now. So I got caught up in some meal prepping, but I'm having my first meal of the day now. So here it is. And it is a half a cup actually of oats and then I have a chopped up I have an apple in there um, some almond milk that I poured in um, sometimes I really like to have my oats kind of more on like the soupy side um, just kind of personal preference there but I poured in almond milk sometimes I'll add additional water but this time I just did almond milk oats um, I add in some stevia too and then I did just a little bit of cacao powder and once you add that in with the stevia um, it helps make it taste just like chocolate so cacao I mentioned it in a few of my videos but it's basically chocolate in its most natural form so there's no added sugar so just cacao alone is it has a very very natural taste very raw taste and it can be um, not really that pleasant for a lot of people and so that's why I add in the stevia because then mix it in and then it tastes exactly like chocolate so this has been my meal number one it's um I kind of put it with my protein coffee from my protein source there and so this is a little bit more carb centered too so um first meal of the day so I'm going to eat this and then I'm probably going to head to the gym um do some filming and then also I'm kind of feeling like doing my cardio in the morning most of the time I've been doing it in the evening like the last thing I have to do for the day and then coming home being all sweaty and just feeling like really good but I think today I'm actually going to switch it up and do my cardio first and then go back to the gym later in the day and then hit legs What's up you guys? Okay, it's like 8 o'clock right now and I literally suck. Holy, I look really pale right now. Um, but I really suck. I have one job, full day of eating, and my third meal, I totally forgot to show you guys. But I will tell you what it was. It was, I had some, I had like a packet of that salad mix. And then, so I added in just, it was salad. And then I put in garbanzo beans, bump in some protein to add in some extra carbs. And then I had some tuna with it too. So I used a can of tuna. So salad, garbanzo beans, and tuna was the third meal. And now my last meal of the night. I just got back from my glutes workout for the day, showered and everything. And so now last meal of the day post-workout is a container of the tofu, so I'm having that. I put on some of my sugar-free barbecue sauce, popped it in the air fryer. I have a whole video on that, you guys, so if you're wondering how I make it, be sure to go back and check that out. I also have a video on my Instagram, Elisa Syak Fit, too, for how to, how to make it. And then I have some zucchini. I honestly don't measure um, out my green veggies just because it's kind of pointless in my opinion. And so veggies there. And then I also have some potatoes too as well. So that's going to be my last meal for the day. Um, normally for the past few weeks I've been... Um, actually keeping my beans, like putting my zucchini with my salad and then having my fish with it, so kind of like a lower carb meal, and then saving my beans, my potatoes, and then my tofu for my last meal. Um, but I just think I tried putting my beans with my salad today, and I liked it a lot better. It actually made me uh, feel a lot more satiated throughout the day, and because before I was just freaking hungry, you guys, and really just trying to save most of my calories for my last meal, but then it ended up being like, over an over 500 calorie meal which that's not bad or anything but I was just starving throughout the day and so it just works out better if you try to um, surround your meals and equally proportion them especially just making sure you get um, protein more protein in each and every meal too because that's going to help satiate you than just a simple carb source too so I'm going to be closing out the video now uh, thank you guys so much for watching this was kind of just a little preview for some foods that I um, eat throughout the week. Um, for prep, mostly, the meals don't really vary that much, so that's where I kind of feel like it would be super, super boring to show you guys my meals all the time. I do change up my veggies sometimes and my carb sources too, so right now I'm kind of sticking to potatoes, but I might switch over to rice and um, kind of 
playing with different things along the way but um, things are gonna be staying pretty simple and kind of the same for a few weeks now until like peak week which I could kind of show you guys again what I'm eating for peak week and how we go about carb loading and all of that but thank you guys so much for watching a video please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any video requests I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope you guys have a good week bye guys